Getting sidetracked, looking for something that I really need instantly in my business drives me banana pancakes. Whether it is a password or the EIN I need for some financial paperwork, or even if it's a hex code color that I need to just copy and paste really quickly, when I can't find them within a couple of minutes, I get a little bit frustrated. Trying to figure out where you're going to house the business basics so you can then spend your time doing what you're actually getting paid to do is very important and critical in your business. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashlyn. I am the calligrapher and copywriter here at Ashlyn Writes, and I love to help creative entrepreneurs like you sell more with your words so you can work from a place of rest, not hustle. And if you've been around here for a while, you know I love me some productivity. Why? Because time is your most precious resource. We can figure out how to make you more money, specifically with sales copy. We can figure out how to get more talent, whether it's through hiring people or education, but we can't figure out how to get you more time. We all have the same amount of time. So we've got to figure out how to steward the time you've been given well. And one way to do that is to quit looking around for things that you just need to get your fingertips on quickly. Today, I'm sharing the behind the scenes of our company guidebook board in Trello, which is essentially command central for my business. Hopefully it can be helpful for you too. And if you already know that you're a big Trello fan and want to get your hands on the freebie template I have of this board that I use every single day, look below and you can find the link and grab that and download it now. Before we jump in, I want to check real quick. Are you subscribed? I make new videos every single Friday and if you like where this is headed, hit subscribe and you will be at first to know when the new one hits. Okay, I love Trello. It's the project management tool I've used pretty much since I got started in my business. Trello is my favorite four letter word free and it is up running in the background of whatever I'm doing in some capacity every single day. I have a whole lot of boards and I lean on them in different capacities at some point or another during the day. My quick spiel on why I like it, uh, I really think when it comes to project management tools there's one out there for everybody and my best tip is just to pick one and make it work for you. Trello worked for me because I liked that it was a mashup of a to-do list but also Pinterest style visualization which appeals to somebody who's creative like me. Now disclaimer this is not going to be a video on how to get started in Trello. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you either know enough to be dangerous or you've dabbled a little bit in it, but I will link below my favorite resources for getting started in Trello if you've never gotten in there and known what to do before. Now instead, like I said, I'm going to walk you through the board that we use to keep all of our business things together and in one place. Basically, if I had a version of a business binder that was digital, this would be it. Let's flip this around, head to the computer so I can show you the ins and outs of it. Okay, when you first go to Trello, if you have boards or if you're brand new, you're gonna see something a little like this. Told you, we use a whole lot of Trello over here. Uh, but to create a new board, you just do this, add the board title. Um, you can also make it private or public, which is helpful, and add your team stuff. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about imagery in just a moment, but that is in a nutshell how you create a new board. So let's hop over to the company guidebook board that we use in our business. Now I'm gonna go through each of these lists step by step but to show you a few things. Again, below I've linked a resource if you are brand new at this tool and you've never seen it before. It, you, I could go on all day about all the different things that you could do in here. Um, in fact, a lot of people have with some great videos but in a nutshell, you add um, your list here, so name here. And essentially Trello functions as a to-do list of to-do lists so you can add all the information in here. You can add power-ups. I'm going to show you about this, but I would definitely recommend for your company guidebook board if you use Dropbox or Drive, which we use both actually depending on the file, adding those in. Um, labels is something I would add to. I'll stay on this for a moment, so if you need to um, screenshot that for inspiration, but labels are something I use across the business um, and folders just um, I don't even know if it helps my team that much, but I need it to uh, quickly be able to eyeball things. That's what I can show you there. I do want to, let me delete this real quick, and a couple other things I wanted to um, let you know about are changing the background. You would just click up here, and that's something that pretty pretty soon right off the bat, if it's your board, it's nice to even just make it one of your brand colors or use a photo by Upsplash if you don't have any of your own. Um, and over here is where you would add those power-ups. Just wanted to show you that as well. Okay, let's jump through these quickly and go board by board. Sorry, list by list. 
those words are not interchangeable. So um, brand materials, I want this to function. You know, your first day on a job, how you get that big notebook of everything the business stands for and what they're about and what they do. Um, that's how I want this board to be. Even when it was just me, I wanted to put that in place because you never know, one day you're gonna hire sooner than you think you are. Um, so to be able to have all of my product offerings in one spot, and then also this information that, dang it, I always need. I, I can never remember this number. I do not have it memorized. So it's nice to know our Google numbers right here if I need to grab it. I also have a link to the brand style guide and some other things. Um, I have in the past, I pulled it off because I feel like it was slowing it down, but um, a link to the brand imagery folder that we have that has all the photography for the business. Um, this, I pop on probably like three times a day at least um, and pull these hex codes because I definitely do not have them memorized. Props if you memorize hex codes. Does anybody do that? Uh, but these are very nice to be able to just quickly come in here and copy and paste it wherever I need it. Typography is pretty much the same. Nice to have that in one spot. Now, if you are a student of my Copywriting for Creatives program, this is no news to you, uh, but I definitely recommend having your messaging somewhere. We always are good and have our visual branding, but do you have your brand messaging um, also somewhere? So this is all housed right here for me and my brand. It's easy to have all in one spot, core values, um, the themes of our brand. Now, also, if you have hung around me for a while, you know I'm a big fan of the copy bank system. Um, that's something I teach my students and have in the shop if you need a just quick resource, but having a copy bank where anybody that is writing for my business, so um, for example, Inbox, when I'm getting help there, uh, we have some other people that help with um, email and um, through a company called Gravy, and I just, I want them to sound like us and everything, and so that is where um, the link is to all of that information. I do, I wanted to point out this too, pull this bio all the time for podcast pitches, for um, when I'm speaking somewhere and they need a quick bio. So I would recommend um, writing your bio too. Again, I have a shop item for that. I'll link it below if you don't have one, but if you have your bio, go ahead and pop it in here as well. Team members is pretty self-explanatory. I wanted to keep this information private, but I'll open this up so you can kind of see a little basic um, brief of the information that I grabbed from them and that is something that is really nice to have on hand um, especially things like birthday and personality type okay moving on management is great to have um, again referencing that binder that you get on your first day of a job it's really nice to just be able to know when you have all that software what it's used for I remember starting new jobs trying to learn what system they use for this and what system they use for that it was always really hard so having it all in one spot is great and very, very easy to have when somebody is new and learning about the business. I'm not gonna open any of these, but um, the financial tab is obviously, that's gonna house things like EIN, CPA's number, bookkeeper's number, um, routing, checking, all that kind of stuff is all here. Legal as well, any of our trademark information, um, my lawyer's number, all those things that you wanna have on hand when you are in a sticky situation and you've gotta have it and you've gotta have it immediately. That's where that information is. I'll also show you, um, it's kind of fun to have uh, the information on where you get stuff printed if you do that. And also, this is the one I really was trying to open up, um, a checklist of things that you want in your business one day. It's just, it's kind of fun, but anytime I see something that I'm like, oh, I should save up for that. I should actually, I want a new office chair. I should put that on here. Mine is killing my back. Um, labels, I walked through that earlier. And then I love being able to have a workflow for everything in my business talk about those a whole lot. Um, told you, we have a ton of workflows. It's just nice to be able to have them all in one spot. If I'm going to do something more than once, I'm gonna put it in a workflow because I hate leaving out steps to stuff or trying to remember. Um, it's pretty, when you go in here, um, for some reason this isn't loading, being a little slow. Uh, but being able to have all the steps in one spot is something I love as well. Affiliate links, can't ever find those when I need them. So in here, I have the link itself that it goes to and login information. Real quick on login information because that involves this this tab and then back here when I was talking about tech, um, I recommend a tool like LastPass. That's the best thing I've found to keep all of our passwords in one spot. That's, to me, I just feel like that's a little safer than having them out on Trello. I used to put them in Trello. Um, affiliate links, having those. Let's see, just talked about that. Testimonials. 
it's nice to have all of those anytime somebody mentions the business or gives us a shout out, um, gives us some kind words about how something has worked for them. I do house those in here. Um, that's fun to look at. Of course, it's helpful with sales too if I ever need to turn around and grab them, but it's kind of a sunshine folder as well. Now, who buys courses and never completes them? I think a lot of people out there. So this is one way I make sure I get through things. The minute I buy a program, I pop in here, I put, if I need to, the password and username, but definitely the link to log in and then the checklist of all of the different modules or lessons in the course. And that way I know when I've finished it and when I've not finished it. Swipe files is pretty self-explanatory, but anytime you reference or research something and you want to pull it in, there's this could be endless. Anything you want to pull inspiration from, um, quiz examples, researching for a product I wanted to do, headlines, um, this is really, it could be endless. You could link to a Pinterest board if you have it, um, whatever you want to do with that one. Um, and then I was also keeping some ideas for a website renovation. So that is a basic overview of the company guidebook, Ground Zero for Your Business, and I hope there's some tips Tips from that you can pull and use yourself. That in a nutshell is my company guidebook board and I hope it is helpful for you if you're trying to figure out how in the heck to have some sort of business binder here in the digital age. No matter if you use Trello or any other great project management tool out there, see if you can apply some of these tips I just showed you to keep your business basics straight in your own business. If you're interested in even more productivity tips, specifically geared for creatives and artsy types like you may be, go ahead, look below and grab my batch and theme days mini training. This is a 12 page workbook that's gonna walk you through how I set up batch days that work in my business. I will link to that video as well. Thank you as always so very much for taking the time to tune in and until next time, make sure that you're setting your business up to work for you and not the other way around. All right, see you next time.